Good morning and welcome back. Today is Friday, December 15, 2023. So this is day 15 of our 31 days of prayer for favor. So good morning. Welcome back, everyone. And welcome to those of you that were just on Bible study with me. And welcome to everybody. If this is your first time seeing this, welcome. My name is Allison. We are praying throughout the month of December, asking the Lord to release his favor upon our lives. So we are praying every day here live on Facebook, asking God for favor. Today is day 15 of our journey. And we believe that God is going to show up on our behalf and we will experience favor, not just in the month of December, but we are praying for 2024 as we prepare to transition into the new year and we are asking God for a lifetime of favor. All right. So the way that this works for those of you that might not have seen this before, I pull up a scripture or scriptures and we use that as our prayer point and our basis for asking the Lord um, to release his favor upon our lives for that day. All right. And so today's scripture is going to come from the book of Acts. It's Acts chapter two, verse 47. I'm only going to read two translations this morning. And this one, I'm going to expand my prayer a little bit. For those of you that were just on Bible study, I think I found a translation here that is a nice, um, what do you call it? Like a nice transition from where we just left off in Bible study to where we can pick up here. All right. And so um, I'm going to read this to you and then we are going to pray and we're going to have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend, Kimberly, right? And um, I don't know about you all. I'm trying to finish the year strong. All right. I'm trying to be very productive and very effective and efficient, maximize my time, maximize every moment. All right. So here, Acts chapter two, verse 47 reads, praising God and having favor with all people. And the Lord added to the church daily, such as should be saved. And here it is in the CEB translation. They praised God. It doesn't use the word favor, but let me read this to you anyway. They praised God and demonstra demonstrated God's goodness to everyone. The Lord added daily to the community those who were being saved. Now, Allison, why did you pick this? And what do you mean that this is a good transition? We were just talking about at the end of Bible study. I always, you know, I ask people to subscribe, follow um, the, my YouTube platform. I want people to join us out on our journey of praying first thing in the morning, giving God the best of our time while we are focused, our minds are sharp and alert. People, I want people to develop a love of prayer. I want people to have um, a desire to stay in God's word. And so I ask people to join, join our family, our growing numbers. So this is a nice transition to the Lord added daily to the community of those who were being saved. My desire is to grow what I call here my family members as we continue to seek the face of the Lord and we continue to pray and read the Bible. So I think that this is a nice transition. All right. So the prayer point for today is that we will have, as it says in the King James, having favor with all people. All right. I'm going to continue that theme, but I'm also going to continue. It says they praised God and demonstrated God's goodness to everyone. Now, this also ties into how I say we won't hoard God's blessings for ourselves, that we will be um, as we are blessed, that we will be a blessing to others. OK, and so we want to make sure that as God releases favor, as we have the means to meet somebody else's need, just sow a kind word. It doesn't always involve money, but if we could just sow a word of encouragement into someone's life, if we can just sow a smile, a smile is so contagious and a smile can actually brighten someone's day. It only takes one second and it doesn't cost any money. Right. We can't make up excuses on why we can't we can't sow a smile into someone. All right. So I think that this is a great scripture for today. So let's pray and then we're going to have um, and let me smile. Um, we're going to have a wonderful day and an even better weekend. All right. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you so much once again for waking us up this morning. Lord, I thank you for assembling your family here this morning. God, I don't take it lightly. I thank you for the privilege, the honor and the opportunity to read your word and spend time with your children each and every morning. God, as you continue to increase us in wisdom and in learning. 
Father, this morning is day 15 of us spending time in the morning asking you to release and unleash a mantle of favor upon our lives, Lord God, that everywhere we go, just as in the book of Esther, just as it says here in Acts chapter 2, 47, they found favor with all people. Father, let favor be our portion. Let that, uh, that, let that be our experience and our testimony that everywhere we go, we will find favor when people see our faces, when people even see our names on paper whether it's an application, whether it's a, a resume, Father, when people even see our names, that they will have a desire to show favor to us, God. When people meet us, let them discern something different, cause our lights to shine. Father, let us be a delightsome land. Let us be a positive experience for people. So, Father, we ask that you continue to bless us with favor. Give us an anointing for favor. Father, cause people to have a desire to treat us friendly, as we read in the book of Exodus, Lord God, as in Proverbs, as we continue to spend time in your word and seek knowledge and increase in wisdom, Father, that we will obtain the favor of the Lord, that it will be evident that your favor will speak, favor will open doors, favor will go before us. Father, every place we put the soles of our feet, may we experience favor. May, 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 may there be an outpouring and an overwhelming flood of favor in our lives. May it turn situations and circumstances around for us, O oh God. Father, where people wanted to say no when the answer should be yes, let your favor speak and move on our behalf, O oh God. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, this is our time to shine. This is our appointed time and our set time for favor as we read in Psalm 102 verse 13. Lord God, I pray for a lifetime of favor as we read in Psalm chapter 30 verse 5. May our favor last a lifetime. May it not just be for 31 days. May it not just be for the month of December, but Father, may we experience a lifetime of favor. Father, we thank you. We know that when we pray and we come before you, that you hear us, Lord God. So Father, we thank you for what you're doing in our lives. We thank you for everything that you've ever done. We thank you for what you're working out right now, Lord. We thank you for the favor that you are releasing in our lives, Lord God. And I can't wait to hear the testimonies that come in of how you turn situations around, of how we experience supernatural, uncommon, unprecedented favor. Father, may we have favor with you and favor with man, Lord God. We thank you that the favor of the Lord will rest upon our lives for a lifetime. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. All right. Well, family, Thank you so much for joining me. That was day 15. Our original scripture for today was Acts chapter 2, verse 47. Praising God and may we praise God for our favor. Every time we experience supernatural favor, may we stop and praise God for his favor. It says praising God and having favor with all people. And the Lord added to the church daily so as should um, such as should be saved. So let me just add with this or let me just conclude with this, right? It says the Lord added daily to the community those who would be who were being saved. May our family grow. May when we meet people and they show us favor, may we use that as a witnessing tool. May that, that be a time that we share our testimony, that we share the love of God, right? That we can be the impetus, that we will be the person that God uses to cause somebody to give their heart and their lives to the Lord, right? So it's all about paying it forward, you know, reciprocating and um, witnessing and being a good testimony for the kingdom of God. All right, Kimberly, thank you so much. Good, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, family. Thank you so much for joining me. And we will be back tomorrow, Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern with day 16 for our 31 days of prayer for favor. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye.